Hey, y'all listen up. I'm going to told it to you, a real nice cookie recipe. Listen up. I'm supposed to be a cooking pinto beans, and here I am going to make some cookies, and I'm going to show you how to do it, and I will get onto them pinto beans a little bit later, but what we're going to make is some sorghum. We're going to make some of them sorghum cookies. Uh, just follow right along with this recipe, and I'll try my best to pencil it in down there. Down there at the bottom of the recipes, just follow along the best you can, and I'll try to pencil it in down there in the description, the ingredients. But what you want in yonder is, uh, take note now that these are sorghum cookies. It, they're going to be good. And they'll hold the baby, the kids in the family, they'll hold them over till you get them pinto beans cooked. So anyways, you see I got about a, you know, actually, I'm just going to use all that. If you've got a, a, a half a bag of flour, you know, just use the whole thing and then, and then proportion everything else accordingly. Oh, it's, you learned something tonight. And uh, you want equal parts of uh, grits you yeah let's just put them all in there that's all we've got and and mix this up you know the uh, grits and that self rising flour mix it up a hundred percent oh this is gonna make a lot of cookies you you will be well rewarded for this recipe and put you a little uh, whoa that's too much but let's go ahead and put it in there but if you cook it for the little small kid don't put that much uh, ground cinnamon just real lightly and you know what I I'm going out on a limb here and, and I'm going to put a dash of salt three or four of them put you some salt in there not very much but enough it keeps stirring and the ever I know every house probably in uh, well about probably about 90 cent 90 percent of us has got bacon powder in the cupboard and don't overdo this right here. You see that baking powder? Oh, that's finer than that flour was. The but just put you about that much, which would be look down there description, and you'll know how much baking powder to put in there. Oh, you can't err on. You actually can err on too much for the small toddler. The oh, the main ingredient here now. Don't forget. Hey, y'all, look at that. That's that's real. That's butter. And what I done is I didn't want, it was froze, and I didn't want to wait all day to get that butter to room temperature, so I shoved it in that microwave there for about a minute. Don't put it in there too long because it'll catch fire. That's one stick of butter. Put it all in there. We we actually even going to, oh, let that drain. Don't, don't miss none of that butter. Eh, you know, that's good enough. Once you've got enough butter off of there that you're, uh, the, and, and if you kind of, if you uh, do measuring, you have to be precise on your cooking, then use a, uh, use a measuring cup. I advise against it. We, we've got that stick of butter in there. Oh, it's going to be good now. I'm telling you. Yes. That's going to be good. That's all I can say about that. But we still got another ingredient to go in there. Sugar. And you put about a cup of sugar in there. The uh, This happens to be half brown sugar and half of that other kind. So put you about... I'm going to save that sugar over. That's enough anyway. Don't put too much sugar in there. The uh, quantity, if you did not observe that with... If you're not confident that you can put the right amount of sugar in there, then measure it out. Uh, don't don't err. Uh, don't mess these cookies up. One other ingredient we've got we've got to have another ingredient right here, sorghum. And these right here, I was I actually I actually seen these sorghums being uh, they squeezed them out of some cane stalks. I actually was there and observed it. Set the fire underneath the pan, you know, cooked them off, and I've had them two or three years. See how brown they are? Oh, these things keeps a long time. I put a lot in there too. That's enough. Don't put any more than that. That's that's a plenty on the sorghum. 
and mix this up to it's a hundred percent uh hodgmaninius homongeous look that word up let that be the word the code word is hu hu humongous you know it's all it's it's content to be together we talking butter sorghums grits instant flare self rising oh i wish you could smell this right here oh it's gonna be good now it's time to get your hand in there don't be fooling around with it at this point the oven's uh the oven is preheating at 300 it's 375 degrees and we're gonna we'll probably bake these for you know i'm gonna say 12 minutes i'm gonna say 12 minutes on them this uh and the butter uh, there's no eggs in this don't be putting no eggs in your cookies uh there's no reason to waste a good egg if you if you going to eat an egg uh, fry it uh, lightly scrambled put it on some bread homemade I suggest with a little mayo you know just eat it kind of plain I mean you got to have mayo all oh, this right here y'all see that now that's exactly what what that's what you looking for there in your pan I wish I had a little more butter man if i had some more butter melted that's all i had is one stick of butter so they ain't no need me to the i'm not going to dwell on not having enough butter because it's going to this is going to be good <laughs> hey i'm telling y'all this is going to be good just here at this point right here do not do not start eating this i i, I caution you oh that's ready to go then and what you go what we're going to do see when that makes a like a golf ball that's pretty nice right there that's a little big about like that take some of it away and, and we're going to make them cookies and i got them on that pan over here and i'm going to show y'all something uh there's the pan we're going to bake some of them on and i put some oil on yonder and 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 you know put it it's everywhere so well, we got to get on with this right here. Well, what I was going to tell you, don't let me be amiss by telling you, do not start eating these at this time. And you put this little thing right here on there, squeeze them out just a little bit, firm them down, not too much. I hope you all see that. You see that? And you, you put these little things on there and kind of do like that. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to keep doing this right here till I get the whole pan covered up with them little things. Oh, them little darling cookies. That's a little bit close because they do spread out. And I'm going to bake them and then by magic of the, uh, you know, I, I can show you two things at once. I'll show you what they look like. We're going to put all the rest of them on here. Oh, let's get her done. Oh, it's going to be good.